are talking about shoulders today. We just did our sexy shoulder workout, and that was a good one. We toned, toned all of our nice, sleek shoulder lines. Um, and we are going to talk about our shoulders because they're actually the one of the most common injuries for athletes to have is a shoulder injury. Um, and even just even if you're not an athlete, if you're a regular exercise, our shoulders are the ones that get hurt the most. And the reason that they get hurt the most is because there is a little muscle inside of our shoulder called the rotator cuff. And that is the muscle that helps your arm go around and, you know, get all your rotation going. It's a very small muscle. And what happens often is that people don't train that muscle. They forget about it because it's so small. They think, Oh, it's not, it's not important, that silly rotator cuff, I'll just, just toss that out the window, but that's wrong, because what happens is, your other muscles get strong, and you try to lift, you know, you're thinking, oh, I'm strong, I got this, I got, I got a good bench press, I got, I got these extra heavy weights, and some of your muscles might be able to handle them, but that rotator cuff can't if you haven't trained it, so what happens generally is, People will try to um, lift heavier things with their other muscles because they're strong enough, and then the rotator cuff snaps because that muscle isn't strong enough. And so, and when you think about it, like uh, shoulders, shoulder injuries take people out. They take people out of the game. Um, it's hard to re re rehabilitate your shoulder. That's why it's really important to prevent the injuries from happening in the first place. Um, so we'll talk about our shoulder prevention and what is what is what is the goal so the the way to prevent your shoulder injuries uh, it's balance through control so you want to have control of your muscles at all times and you want to stay balanced and so one of the ways there's five ingredients that we're going to talk about with our goal of maintaining control through uh, maintaining balance through control and we have proper form, that means doing your exercises right. We have flexibility, so that you're, you can have a full range of motion with your arms. We've got core stability, it's training the training your core, because what happens is your, your body's all connected. So if you have a weak spine, when you are transferring, when you're doing something that requires force, um, that if you have a weak spine, the force gets transferred to your shoulders. So your shoulders end up taking and bearing the weight of that exercise rather than um, the other part of your body that was supposed to. Because if you have a weak spine, like I said, we're all we're all connected. So core stability is very important. Also, rotator cuff strengthening, which I talked to you about, our little rotator cuff, and I'll show you a couple of exercises that you can do at the gym. Uh, we did one kind of in our workout. I remember when we were doing our twists and telling you to go like this with your arms? Well, that is one kind of rotator cuff exercise. And usually you would do that with weights to get a little bit of strengthening happening. And then the fifth element of our shoulder injury prevention is um, just general mus muscle conditioning. So having your other muscles be strong together to help your shoulders because you have a kinetic chain reaction that happens um, because you, you're all connected, you know, this this arm and this leg, they work together. Uh, they all work, we all work, are, we're, we're one, one, one unit, one being, with a lot of different parts, but they're all, they're all connected, so if one, go, one thing goes wrong somewhere, it can lead to a whole bunch, a whole host, I'll be fancy, a whole host of other problems. <laughs> Sorry, I just really amused myself with that one. Um, anyway, so 